the July between the East leading Boston Red Sox and the Toronto Blue Jays. Hi again, everybody. Matt Baskershin here for this AL East matchup. Outsider Eric Karras and Steve Lyons in each game. Let's begin by taking a look at what's led us to game three of this four game set. Now, it's been a great start to the series on the road. You see there, these guys have come in and taken the first two games of this four game set. They're playing with a lot of confidence right now, and it's obviously showing in their results. All right. All right, EK, we'll get to Steve in a moment, but first, let's get a look at the starting lineup for the visiting Boston Red Sox. As John Farrell's guys will line up like this. They'll have their hands full here for sure as they try and tackle the knuckleball specialist, R.A. Dickey. Mookie Betts. A step to the plate now as we're ready to get this one underway. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to MLB 15, the show. Uh, in real life today, the Red Sox had an afternoon game, and Rick Porcello got destroyed. Gave up seven runs in two innings. Seven runs. You heard that right. In two innings, and the Red Sox got raped 11-2, to and that's the end of that. That's the end of that. So, Red Sox three-game winning streak is over. Rick Porcello just got just destroyed. Haley Ramirez, however, made it back to the lineup, and he hit a triple. He went one for four. Devin Marrero got the start at second base, giving Brock Holt a day off. He went 0 for 3, so he's hitless since he's been called up. Um, yeah, just a horrible day all around for the Boston Red Sox. 11-2 shellacking on Canada Day. Right back, right back to work as the shortstop Jose Reyes digs in to lead off the bottom of any number one. And this pitch is right down the middle, strike one. Eric is 
take a look at these guys. They take the field for the bottom of the first year this afternoon. Fortune has been smiling on them recently. They're unbeaten in their last seven games. Yeah, they're in a spread right now where it seems like all the breaks are really going their way. The only trouble with that is things tend to even out over time, so we'll see how long they can keep riding this hot. Lifted down the line and right and back out of play. Count holds in 0 and 2. Here comes another 0 2. The next 0 2 misses, and that'll move it to 1 and 2 now. Could be that the high fastball there was just a setup hit. Now you've kind of established that high sight level. Could be a good time to break off a nasty curve. Try again, 1 2. So far, First, first offering on the way. First, first pitch hacking here, and that's the first strike. And Eric, the Blue Jays, as they enter play here this afternoon, they've been fairly punchless of late, losing last time out, and in fact, dropping six of their last seven. Yeah. 
you're getting the night off yesterday. And here's a fastball call for strike one. Now the now pitch. pitch. Driven, Driven down, down the left field line. line. Will it stay fair? It will as it heads to the corner of Fair Ball. Hey, Porcello's getting raped right away. Double play, come on, one. Good job. That was gigantic. Good job, Porcello. That's how you get out of the inning. Stepping, Stepping in now, Devin Marrero. As he gets under the first pitch and sends a fly ball out to left center. Carrera comes on and makes the catch in shallow left for round number one. Though with one out, a reminder that MLB the show is your home for Boston Red Sox baseball all season long. We'll take a look at what's coming up here for the Sox in the week ahead. Third base dugout, but this will get back into the seats out of play. 
Now here, it now here it comes. Right on, right on that pitch that time as he drives it into center field to face in. Jose Batista can get a shot here with two away and a runner at first now following the base hit. That two out single seemed harmless enough, but anytime you extend it, you allow this guy to get a shot on the run on, you better be careful. And this is fouled straight back. He's ready now. Pitch. Big, Big swing, swing there as it's hit pretty well out toward deep left field. And he'll pull this one down a step or two in front of the morning track, and the inning is over. One left for Toronto. They're on the short end of a one to nothing score. Xander Bogart will stand in now to get us going here in the fourth. Now, here's, now the here's the first pitch. And that's, and that's by him. It's 0-1. Well, as we've seen so far, this isn't a team that's going to wait around too long to feel a pitcher out. They're an impressive team all the way from top to bottom. And if that first pitch is anywhere close, most of these guys are going to take a hack at it. Fought off the plate as he's chopped foul. Owen two home down to Hogarth. Now here's one hit in the air to the right side, but this is back into the seams of foul ball. The 0-2 once more. And here's a ball hit in the air. Donald's underneath this one, and he's got it for the first out. And as a defender, these are the kind of pitchers you like to play behind. Someone who pitches in contact, keeps the defense involved. Think it's an easy pop-up right here. David Ortiz will stand in. He grounded out his first time. Outfield shaded toward right center. Here's the first pitch. Swing and a miss as he tried to muscle up on it there. 0-1. And the end of the pitch. And Ortiz just a fraction early there as this ball lifted foul and out of play on the right. One run, one run just one hit, and no errors for the Red Sox to this point. As anticipated, here's a ground ball now to the right side. And he'll take this to the back himself, and there are two away now. And I kind of think even a normal defensive alignment probably makes this play. But here you can see him playing close to the line because he's got back up in the form of his second baseman. And it winds 
the home fairly routine round out of first. Henley Ramirez is coming down with Joe Way, and I've got to say, it may be about time to start taking a pitch or two. Yeah, I mean, he has just run right through these guys, giving his little selves out left and right. He's hardly even broken a sweat out there. Pablo Sandoval will dig in. He popped out in foul territory his first time. First pitch to him. Here's a ground ball to first. And small will take that one in the bag and decide to retire. One left for the Red Sox. They're on top one to nothing. Here's the 
first offering. Wing of the, Wing of the ball, ball hits softly on the ground. Foul ball, ball, ball here, 0 oh 1. Here's the, Here's the pitch. Now a ball, now a ball hit down the line in the air. This has a chance. And oh, it's high off the foul ball for a home run. That was big. A solo, a solo home run, run from Mike Napoli, number, number 25 for him on the year, and that gives the Red Sox a two to nothing lead. Well, the only, well, the only question here was, was, was he going to be able to keep this ball fair? fair? I thought this thing had a chance to go up her tank, but you'll see it hit way up there on the foul pole. And that's no cheapy right there. He gave that one a pretty good ride. Here's Alejandro de Aza. He'll pick on the first pitch and then a ground ball towards second. On the first, he'll bounce back pitch there as he gets the ground ball for the first out. Devin Marrero will dig in here. Flew out his first time around. First, first pitch coming. coming. Just got a piece of it as it's fouled back. And now, and now pitch on the way. And, and, and this ball's heading through the seats down the right side as the gun will move to 0 and 2 now. <laughs> now, here's now here's the pitch. The pitch. Swing and a ball hit on the ground. Over to smoke at first, and there are two away. Sandy Leon, dig in here. Took a call, third strike his first time. First pitch coming. Now here's the ball hit in the air to straightaway right field. This ball's got plenty of carry to it, and it is out of here. Here's Xander Bogarts now. As he goes after the first pitch and lines one out to right center. And that's into the gap and should be extra bases. Around third and being waved on home. And another runs across as this is now a 4 nothing ball game. In the dirt and oh, he can't quite dig it out. That's a nice job here of cashing in with two outs. You can see they were shaded to the pull, but he slices his ball the other way. Forces the outfielder to have to cover some ground, fielding this thing, and as a result, that runner is going to come all the way around the score from first. Here comes, Here comes the DH, DH now, David, David Ortiz. That's a swing and lift the foul ball off to the left and out of play. Comes Come set, now the pitch. Now he turns on one and rips it down the line. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. So three runs on four hits, no errors, and a man left on. 
home half of the fifth coming up. Red Sox four and James nothing. Kevin Pillar stands in the starting job here in the home half of the fifth. He's getting sense deep that this crowd's been pretty well taken out and walk into the street. Kevin pretty much had to sit on their hands all afternoon. Not a lot of luck getting excited about so far. And I think that's a credit to that man out there on the mound. He's cut right through this line for the first four innings. Uh, but that finds the first base with the glove, and that's a tough first out. Now uh, the first pitch. We went one for 40, and then we know. Listen, we went one for 40. And then me and Carcetti brought some of the reps. I told Carcetti, I said, "Here's the deal." I said, "The reason we keep starting like this here is why. First of all, you have a power wheel of 20, which is asinine. Second of all, uh, what happens is all these people, all these people are so horrible." That when there's never a deal ever, they immediately go right back out, and so they get another tour. So you have the people that are writing consistently taking less tours, and the people who suck. And I said that should never have happened, huh? Yeah, Carcetti did to because the people on the on the power wheel were complaining that they were so overworked because we keep getting a lot of tours and we don't have the with the, don't have the reps. So whatever. So that happened. So then me, I so I, I made a list. Carcetti brought him into the training room with me. He did all the talking, and he said, "Here's the deal. You guys are terrible." He said, "We can't keep doing this. This is a performance-based job. If you don't sell today, then Thursday and Friday you're off the wheel, and you're going to be in training again until until the weekend." So some did, some did, some didn't. Some didn't even know they were in the group because they were on tour when it happened and they sold. So anyway, after that, after that meeting, uh, <coughs> uh, hold on. After that meeting, uh, we we killed it, and uh, we ended up finishing, I think, with a thirteen or fourteen hundred. So here, no, we scored seventy four. We got yeah, we were we were busy, but we have ten tos, including you, so nine today. So here's what happened: the first table I hit was an upgrade. Don Pinozo had no idea where to go with it. He goes, listen, I don't know what to do. He goes, the other one wants off the deed. So I said, we can't do that. First of all, they have to be paid off. So he goes, yeah, well, I don't know what to do. So I go over there, and she had a couple questions. You know, Tyler lied to me, a lot, a lot, a lot, and uh, all this, all that. And I said, well, we can set up your account online. Because she's like, well, if I can't get her off, then I'm the only one going to be paying for it. So why can't you just take it off of my card? I said, we can do that. So I helped not only set up her account online with Silverleaf, but also with uh, with uh, RCI. 
And um, then I came back and did the whole takeaway. Like, the reason you're here, it was a $400 in equity from January. First time back. So the whole reason you're here is you can't move up, etc. You got to buy a second week, yada, yada, yada. And, um, and um, she goes, oh, well, I'll just stay with what I have, yada, yada, yada. I said, you don't understand. There is no moving up. So apparently she got approved for an RCI card the last time she was here, right? The first time she, she joined. But she had maxed it because she put the down on it. So I told her to call them and try to raise your, huh? Playing a video game. Uh, now's not a good time. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, so she got her limit, not all the way, but she got her limit moved up. The card wasn't with her, it was at her house. So she trusted me and Dom, and she upgraded. So that was an eight. And then I got an RCI card approved with this new girl, Stephanie, who did a great job. That was a seven. So I finished with 15. Carter had an 18 with O'Brien, with people you wouldn't believe ever would do an 18. Ever in a million years would you believe it. And uh, so it was originally 300 down, the rest on the check for an 18. Then they come back, oh, we don't want to give you 300 down. So they did RCI. It got approved for 2,700. Yeah, so that was an 18 there. So that's what he finished with. Schilling had two, one failed, one didn't, so that was 13 for him. Uh, Simon wrote three. Uh, he had a seven, a seven, and a, four, a 13 pender. The 13 pender failed, so he got a three. So he finished with 17. Um, so Carter at 18, Simon at 17, I had 15, Schilling at 14, or Schilling at 13. Oh, wait a minute, nine and four, 13. Um, I think that's it. Josh blanked, Krieger blanked, Brett blanked, Ryan D blanked, Tuck got a 13 with Delmeyer. Yep. So that's the drill, so, you know, and then uh, there were samplers or whatever. So that's, that's the drill. Uh huh? Yep. What's that? Oh, no! So they literally, what's he going to do? So what do you think Coulter's doing? Jesus. They both can't. Why did Why did Felicia quit? Wow. So he was doing some shenanigans. Huh. Wow, man. So they just, so they walked in today and said, "I'm done." Yeah. 
whatsoever. So what you gonna do for work? So they're all gonna work for him? I thought you I thought Alyssa was with Gors I thought Alyssa was with Gorski. Fucked up what though? Uh, Fucked up how? Do you have any idea what they did today? Sure. Yeah. Sure. Well, we'll find out tomorrow. Wow, that's unbelievable. That's, that's, that is, wow. I mean, so they have, yeah, dude. Yep. Yeah, 
You mean last week? Huh. Huh. Now I, I don't know what he's gonna do honestly, because he's got Brett in his ear and dude, no kidding. Because he's listening to Brett. Because whatever, man. I mean, he's doing it his way. I can't. I can only advise him. He's not gonna listen to me a hundred percent of the time. If that was the case, I'd be the direct. You know what I mean? So. Nine thirty. Are you going to be there tomorrow? Nine thirty. Say that again. Yeah, because the meeting for the rep started nine. Nine forty. Yeah. Yep. Uh, yeah. I here's what I would do so there's not a distraction. Just come in at ten, and I'll tell Carcetti that you're coming in at ten because you didn't want it to be a big distraction. Or show up at nine, and then he can introduce you. Yeah, I, I don't, don't come in at 9.30 with everybody because it's going to be, everybody's going to be like, oh, Evan, I, uh, and it's just going to, yeah, so I would either come in at 9 or come in at 10, but one of the two. No, I doubt, I doubt he's going to make you do anything. He'll probably just say, this is Evan, he's going to make you money, blah, blah, blah. Whatever these guys are putting in their pregame meal. <laughs> Quick and easy. That's the drill. Yeah, it's, I, I know what the VP is going to be. It's still going to be something, but it's going to be supposedly 7,800. Yep. 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 Yeah. 
Because he's a positive VP. Yep, I was there for that, yep. Wow. Hey, Brunswick, I think, is still with the company, man. Yeah, because the, the, your transfer got... You, listen, your transfer got emailed to him. Yep. He was what? No, no. He, like, it went to Reagan or whatever, and then everybody had to sign off on it, including him. So I don't know what that was all about with Miriam. Oh, all right, well that's that's why. Well, today's July first. Think he's done today? Well, we'll see. Yep, he he loved me supposedly. Really? So Nikki would show you text messages from him? Did, did she like him in any way? Oh. Really? Huh. That's what happened, she should have said. All right, man. Wrong, wrong pitch. Should have thrown a four seamer, not a two seamer. Back. 
two, 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 one, one more time. time. And this, and is, this fouled is fouled back and out of play. Here comes, Here comes the two, two. two. Wing it a ball, get on the ground. Damn it. Ball, Shit, wrong pitch. This is unbelievable. Twelfth pitch of the at bat, I believe. Here he comes, Here he comes on two and two. Two, two, one more time. And this will miss down. Oh, my God. 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 Oh,
and there's a swing and a miss for strike two, so the Blue Jays are down to their final strike now. Swing. All right, that does it. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, comment. You know the drill. We'll see you next time here on MLB 15.